Today we will see about parcel sales manual. If you have seen the 2022 IPO examination paper, there are three questions from this parcel sales manual. You might be knowing about the parcel design manual, parcel operations manual, but this is different. And uh, until that IPO examination 2022, no one cared about this uh, manual. But so there are three questions from this manual. So you, uh, everybody is paying interest on, on this uh, manual. And in this video, I will be covering about uh, about some 60 MCQs along with the key inputs that you have to take away from this uh, parcel sales manual. In broad, the parcel sales manual was uh, designed uh, to help the sales team across the country to optimize their efforts and will give you opportunity to both hire management and sales force to learn from the market intelligence, which will be captured in an online dashboard. So there will be an online dashboard for parse, parcel sales and uh, here there are uh, important uh, terminology that you have to remember. One is the abbreviation and full form we will see here. B2B is uh, business to business that refers to the commerce between one business entity to another business entity. B2C means uh, business to consumer. BP is business parcel. C2C is customer to customer. <coughs> and CEP is uh, the courier express and parcel market. CEP that comprises uh, companies that provides logistics and uh, postal services uh, varying in type of services offered, delivery, speed, weight and volume of the shipment. CSI you know, DOP you know, IT is you know and this is one more important terminology that is KAM. KAM is a key account manager. This question has been asked in IPO examination 2022. What is KAM? KM is uh, nothing but a person who with the responsibility of maintaining the relationship management after sales service of the customers acquired and clinched by the department. Once sales is over, to continue with the after sales service, the key account manager is appointed in each division to look after the after sales and the relationship with the customers one that who have been acquired already kpi is k performance indicator mi is market intelligence this is a new term market intelligence is uh, information about uh, products services prices operations investments of the competitors it is not about our products it is about the competitors so this is called market intelligence ME is marketing executive, MIS is um, management information system, nodal delivery center is NDC, NGO is non-governmental organization, PH is parcel hub, PSU is uh, public sector units, registered parcel you know. So uh, and uh, the other components are SPOC, there is a single point of contact in every division. Here it refers to the specific person who has been given the responsibility of managing day-to-day -day operations of products uh, of providing the products and services to the customer based on the contractual agreement for example asp ipri who will interact with the customer to handle the issues like uh, pickups and uh, receipt sorting etc he is called the spoc so there are three persons one is marketing executive the second one is kam that is key account manager and the third one is the spoc who will be managing the day-to-day -day operations so these three are important these three things uh, will be uh, on and on coming in the entire manual so you should uh, be familiar with these three words marketing executive spoc uh, who will be managing the day-to-day -day operations and the third one is the kam that is the key account manager whose job is to whose job is to uh, responsibility of maintaining the relationship after uh, managing after sales service okay once the uh, person is uh, once the customer is uh, clinched by the department so there are few more uh, uh, terms that is spp is speed post parcel and one more important term is ucid unique customer id means uh, allotted to the bulk customer created in the csi so one more uh, terminology is bulk customer sales that is the pro parcel product sales through booking offices wherein the parcel booking is done against unique customer id associated with the bulk customer shipping the parcel so this parcel sales manual is all about the bulk bulk customer only that means uh, the business that is earned uh, through bulk customer who is giving a business of uh, 10000 per month uh, in the parcel product so the coming into the next one is collateral and the marketing material prepared by an organization to be shared with the potential customers that is the presentations the pamphlets the brochures all these terms all these things are called collaterals that is the 
uh, marketing material. All the marketing materials they are called as collaterals. You should not be confused about the word collateral. It is just a marketing material. Either it can be a pamphlet, brochure, or presentation. And uh, in marketing, when it comes to marketing, there are two terms called as cross selling and up selling. Cross selling is the action or practice of selling an additional product or service to an existing customer. So, whenever there is an existing customer, you will be selling an additional product or service. For example, if a person comes to for PLI, you will be selling uh, one more uh, product like RD or MIS, then it is called cross selling another product. Okay, lead, lead means is a potential customer, and uh, lead generation means. Uh, identification of potential customers from the set of prospective industries by interacting with people searching on internet uh, directories of market associations and other forms of marketing intelligence so this is the identification of potential custom customs customers is called lead generation and uh, online dashboard online dashboard is uh, is the dashboard that has been uh, enrolled that has been rolled out uh, uh, for entering the sales process and key account management relating to the information which can operate both on computer and smartphone. So, this is an online dashboard maintained by CEPT and in a short while we will see what is the URL also. <coughs> then comes the pool of leads that is collection of profiles of the customers, uh, potential customers is called pool of leads. And potential customer is nothing but a customer whom a sales opportunity is being explored. Then comes the prospecting. It is all about sales. So, the prospecting means the process of collecting information regarding the potential customer with the whom sales opportunities can be explored. So, this is the about the collection of information about the potential customers we, from whom we can explore the sales opportunities. Qualified lead means the sales opportunity to be further act actively pursued by the M marketing executive which is identified based on the predefined criteria for sales opportunity so whenever you select one lead uh, based on the uh, certain uh, criteria then it is called qualified lead that we will see where when a person or a customer is a uh, 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 treated as qualified lead that also we will see and whenever there is a 10000 amount then it is called as a qualified lead and uh, Retail sales means the parcel product sales at retail counters that is post offices wherein the parcel booking does not have any bulk customer ID associated with it and is done by the individuals. So, individuals is retail service, bulk customers it is uh, all about the parcel sales now and sales lead is one who is the leader the person responsible sales lead means is the person responsible for leading the interaction and presentation with the identified customers once uh, you have identified the customer there should be a person who has to lead the interaction with the customer to present him the uh, about the uh, customers uh, to present him about the products and services of the department that person is called sales lead Sales target is the revenue target allocated to realize from the sales that you know. Target allocation means process of allocating the targets right across the organization. Then comes the upselling. Upselling means the sales technique where seller invites the customer to purchase more services, upgrades or add-ons to generate more revenue. Whenever you go to a shoe shop for purchasing a shoe, naturally what the uh, seller will do he will ask you to purchase a shoe policy also after once you complete the purchase of the shoes that is called upselling that means you are uh, given the more services and upgrades or add-ons so now we will see some uh, mcqs also based on this glossary this glossary is very very important because without glossary you will not be able to uh, uh, get into the concept and uh, uh, get through this 80 pages of uh, parcel sales manual now what is the km as per parcel sales manual it is uh, not try to post your answers in the comment section so that you will uh, grasp the concept easily knowledge assessment methodology this is the question given in uh, 2022 ipo examination knowledge assessment methodology key advertisement management key account management key assessment management so the answer would be key account manager and uh, what is the full form of MI under parcel uh, sales manual? It is uh, uh, market intelligence. So the answer is B. And 
the fourth question is that uh, as per parcel sales manual information about products services prices operations investments uh, of the competitors is called it is called market intelligence and which market comprises companies that provides logistics and uh, postal services carrying in types of services offered uh, delivery speed weight and volume of the shipment it is cep that is courier express parcel so this is the answer as per parcel sales manual specific person who has been given the responsibility of managing day to day operations of providing products and services to the customers uh, based on the contractual agreement is called uh, single point of contact you should understand that one he is the person who will who is having the responsibility of managing the day to day operations and uh, person with the uh, responsibility of maintaining relationship uh, managing after sales service uh, of the customer acquired clinched by the department is called key account manager okay these are all definitions actually as per parcel sales manual ucid refers to ucid refers to any customer id as per parcel sales manual the marketing material prepared prepared by an organization to be shared with the potential customers example presentations pamphlets brochures etc is called it is called collaterals and another question is a sales technique where the seller invites the customer to purchase more services upgrades or add ons to generate more revenue is called that is called upselling okay sales technique in which the action or practice of service an additional product or service to the existing customer is called cross selling the person responsible for leading the interaction or presentation with the identified customer is called sales lead the process of collecting information regarding the potential customer with whom sales opportunities can be explored is called prospecting this is also important process of collecting information is called prospecting identification of potential customers from set of prospective industries by interacting with people searching on internet directories of market associations and other forms of marketing intelligence is called lead generation so this is called lead generation that means identification of potential customers from the prospective industries by searching on internet and directories collection of profiles of uh, potential customers is called uh, pool of leads okay as per parcel sales manual a potential customer is called the a potential customer is called lead okay these things you should remember please go through the glossary properly and now we will come into the subject now and uh, pnop was undertaken by the department to streamline the parcel operations uh, parcel operations with a vision to capture at least 15% of the cep market share by 2026 this is an important point here pnop is important at least 15% of the uh, cep market is 15% is important and by target date is 2026 these two things are important and uh, which of the following are three activities of sales uh, as per uh, parcel sales manual it is sales target sales process sales monitoring sales perception it is sales targets process sales monitoring so the answer is 1 2 and 3 the online dashboard to facilitate the monitoring of parcel sales uh, activities can be accessed through it is uh, it can be accessed through http and uh, double slash apps dot cept dot gov dot in so apps starts first that you have to remember here this is the online uh, dashboard and uh, here the pnop was undertaken by the department to streamline the parcel operations with vision to capture at least uh, what percent of cep market uh, share by 2026 it is 15 percent pnop was undertaken by the department to streamline parcel operations with the cap with a vision to capture at least 15% of cep market by it is 2026 so these are few questions here and uh, we have seen that uh, this is the dashboard and coming into sales target the sales target allocation is an exercise uh, of allocating the targets to the subordinate units 
generally the annual sales target will be allotted by the parcel directorate to the circles and from circles it goes to regions and regions it goes to divisions and the division further allocates a bulk sales target to marketing executives and a retail sales target will be allotted to the subordinate post office this is also important mes will be given the bulk sales target and individual post offices will be given the retail sales target here bulk sales means uh, or uh, the bulk customers uh, has have to be identified by the marketing executive any bulk customer any per customer who is having a minimum of 10000 revenue generated for the department would be treated as a bulk customer for the purpose as per sales uh, uh, parcel manual sorry parcel sales manual the division allocates a bulk sales target to dash and retail sales target to dash it is a bulk sales targets to the mes and retail sales target to the subordinate post offices that you have to remember and here if you can see the a uh, graph here 1920 the target given at least a 15 percent of the market share uh, in revenue from of the domestic cep market by 2026 that is the target of the department of uh, for the parcel and uh, for that uh, a report has been submitted by kpmg uh, and uh, accepted by the department also according to them it is 15% uh, of the market share by 2526 uh, against the uh, 42.6 crores uh, it has to be achieved some 15% they have to achieve the focus of parcels uh, sales manual is on it is on only bulk customers only that is important here if the focus on the uh, sales manual is on bulk customers only and the department in the department parlance in departments parlance uh, bulk refers to customer to those customers who give a business of uh, more than 10,000 per month and avail the contractual services of the department it can be either BNPL like that okay and in the department parlance here the question uh, bulk refers to the customer who gave business of more than what amount uh, per month and uh, avail the contractual services to the department it is 10,000 and the target shall be recorded in the dashboard by the officials deputed by the divisional head so there will be a dashboard online dashboard we have seen in that dashboard entries have to be made by the marketing executive also and marketing executive will be provided with a separate login id also spoc and km will be provided so they have to make their different entries that we will see later and which of the following statements are correct as per parcel sales manual there is no specific qualification for me selection of me should be based on the caliber and competence of the official depending on the evaluation of selection committee and division head statement one only true true only true both are true both are wrong so try to post your answer in the comment section here the answer would be both statements are correct only there is no specific qualification for me but uh, the ME selection should be based on the competence. So you can uh, judge the competence uh, by the, it shall be by the selection committee or the divisional head. So that is here and the marketing executive should be preferably full time. It is said like that. And uh, in the second para, the marketing executive should be part time or full time. They have said and in urban areas, especially the metros, the marketing executive should be full time. So there will be more business. So it should be full time. Which of the following statements are correct as per parcel sales manual? ME should be part time or full time. In urban areas, uh, especially metros, ME should be full time. So the both statements are correct. What is the good target for a ME as per parcel sales manual? Here, if you can see what is a good target for mar marketing executives, close two sales per one week. Within one week, they have he has to close two sales, uh, which means 100 new bulk customers in a year so this is the target so this is also given in the ipo examination 2022 one two sales in one week with the mean which means 100 new bulk customers in the year and what is the timeline for allocation of annual sales target for mes uh, by the divisions so it is uh, before 15th of sorry before 25th of april there are different timelines given for uh, annual sales target Allocation of yearly sales target to, to the circles by parcel directed. That means from parcel directed to circle before 5th of April, they have to give the target. And uh, re circles have to CO to RO. It is 10th of April. This is a PD to CO. Parcel directed to circle. Circle to RO, it is 10th of April. RO to 
DO it is the 15th of April and DO to ME is uh, ME it is 25th of April. So these dates also you have to remember. And coming into timeline for recording the monthly sales progress by SPOC, collating and recording the monthly sales target achieved by the customers of the division for previous month, uh, there is a timeline that is before 15th of every subsequent month. What is the timeline uh, for collating and recording monthly sales target achieved by the customer of the division for previous month as per sales manual means it is before 15th of every subsequent month. So they have to record the monthly sales progress. So and now we are coming into the next sales process, the fourth chapter. Here the sales process is divided into six stages. There are six stages in sales process. This is also important. And uh, what are those six stages? Prospecting, preparation, presentation. So there are three P's. Prospecting, preparation, presentation and managing queries, closing and follow up. So these are the six stages and we will see one stage uh, one by one. And here the question is as per parcel sales, man parcel sales manual. The parcel process is uh, the sales process is divided into how many stages? It is six stages. Which of the following is not a stage under parcel process as per parcel sales manual? Here everything is given prospecting, preparation, presentation, managing queries, closing and follow up. So none of these will be the answer. It is not a stage it is given. And according to the parcel uh, sales manual, under which stage of parcels? Uh, uh, sales process, the activities like lead generation, pool of leads, selecting qualified leads are mapped. It is under the prospecting. Here if you can see this is prospecting. Here the lead gen, there are uh, activities, six stages uh, are there in the sales process and the stages and activities mapping. These are the activities. These are the stages you can see here. Sales prospecting stage and activity mapping here. For every stage, there, there are some certain activities. Here in prospectings, we have lead generation, pools of lead and selecting the qualified leads. This is the activity that is uh, under prospecting. And in preparation, research on qualified leads, they will do research and obtain appointment of the customer and prepare for the presentation. So these are the uh, preparation stage and presentation stage, introduce self and org organization, you will introduce the yourself and organization and understand the customer requirements, explain the business proposition, present the products and services, provide value proposition and collect the market intelligence. See here collecting the market intelligence is about the competitors. What are their uh, uh, sales prospects? Uh, what are their merits? What are their demerits? Uh, what is their value proposition? All these things you have to collect under market intelligence. So that is all about presentation. We will see detail also later. Managing objections. So whenever there is a sale, there will be objection. There will be queries. Preparation of likely queries. You have to prepare query resolution. You have to do documentation of queries also. You have to make in the online dashboard so that it will be a referral for the future uh, sales for everyone, not only that division, for everyone. So whenever there is a sale process, uh, everyone can see what is the query that is made by the, raised by the customer. Closing, closing means dealing the closure and that means uh, finally contract signing and uh, post sales transfer of responsibility also comes under closing. And uh, finally after closing also there is certain activity that is called follow up. That is the relationship management. Here relationship management is the key account manager. In each division there will be a marketing executive, there will be a key account manager, there will be a SPOC, operational SPOC we have seen. So here this uh, follow up will be done by the key account management and upsell and cross sell. These two things will also come under the follow up. That means once the customer has uh, con signed the contract, once he, he is your own customer, there will be a key relationship management to continue the relationship to upsell something uh, to the existing customer, to cross sell something to the existing customers. And there will be a process of referrals also. You will ask the customer for referrals. That means uh, you, you are satisfied with the uh, sales and the products, products and services of the department. Now you, the, as a customer, you can also refer the department to other referrals, to other uh, customers. So that is called referrals. According to the, this uh, flowchart is important for you. You have to remember, they will ask such type of questions also. 
According to Parcel Sales Manual, under which stage of parcel sales process the activities like up, up, upselling and cross-selling is mapped? Upselling and cross-selling comes under follow-up. So this is the answer. So the organization structure for implementing sales process is the parcel directed. They will allot the target. They will monitor. Circles also they will allot and monitor. And regions also they will allot monitor. And lead opportunity above 8 lakhs uh, it will be done by the region themselves. Regional PMG has to involve. That in detail we will see later. Division means uh, allocation of targets, divisional level monitoring and lead opportunity above 5 lakhs. Uh, divisional head has to do it. So regional head whenever there is an opportunity of uh, 8 lakhs and above, regional head has to involve directly with the customer and the divisional head has to involve uh, whenever there is an opportunity of uh, la 5 lakhs per month uh, customer and uh, ME will be doing anything less than 5 lakhs per month. This is per month. So marketing executive, it is anything is less than 5 lakhs, they will do. Operations SPOC, what they will do? The operations support of the existing and new customers uh, that will be done by the SPOC. Key account manager will build relationship, explore new opportunities uh, like upselling and cross-selling. This is done by the uh, key account manager. So these are the roles. This you have to uh, clearly understand that structure. And uh, then only you will be easily understanding the sales manual. Who has to be appointed by the divisional office to provide support for each bulk customer required by the acquired by the department? It is it is the KM shall be appointed by the divisional office to provide support to the bulk customer required by the department. So the, here this is the KM. What does the KM do? It is uh, he will be supervising the work of the operation SPOC and other requirements of the customers like billing and value added uh, services. Uh, uh, here uh, billing means accounting so automatically this KM will come key account manager and KM who will be KM generally it will be the ASP, ASRM or deputy level, superintendent level cadre only they will be KM. Why is, is it so? Why can't an ME or a PA be a KM? Because KM will have to supervise the work of uh, marketing executive as well as the SPOC. SPOC will be generally a PA and uh, marketing executive will be a PA or postman uh, as per the requirement. So he has to, the KM has to supervise this marketing executive and PA, SPOC. So he should be the cadre of ASP, ASRM or Deputy SP. So Deputy SP is equal to SP cadre we know. Who will supervise the worker of uh, operational SPOC and other requirements of customers like billing, value adds, uh, it is the KM. According to parcel sales manual, the KM should preferably be off PA cadre, alleged supervisor, ASP, ASRM, deputy superintendent or any of the above. The answer is C, ASP, deputy or um, SP or ASRM. Here uh, there is uh, one more point. There is uh, who leads the sales process. Whenever there, there is a sales opportunity uh, for uh, getting a customer uh, with the uh, sales opportunity of value less than or equal to 5 lakhs per month or less than 60 lakhs annually this and this are same then ME will be the uh, lead the sales process who will lead ME will lead the sales process if it is ME will lead the sales process if it is less than or equal to 5 lakhs uh, or 60 lakhs annually both are same if it is 5 lakhs per month, more than 5 lakhs per month or less than or equal to 8 lakhs, 5 lakhs to 8 lakhs means then or 60 lakhs to 1 crore annually means the divisional head will be leading the sales process. That means he will get directly involved in the sales process along with the ME and try to acquire the customer. Divisional head will have to do this one. And if the sales opportunity is of value more than 8 lakhs per month, then the regional head shall be directly involved in the sales process uh, with the, along with the ME and divisional head if required for the customer acquisition. So for customer acquisition, the regional head has to go if the uh, monthly sales process, uh, monthly sales opportunity is uh, more than 8 lakhs per month. So here I have given 8 lakhs per month with the PMG will come into picture. And you have to understand that divisional head is the head of the sales team in the division who will be the head of the sales team, uh, team in the division means division head and uh, there are three primary roles of the sales uh, namely the marketing executive the operation spoc and the account uh, account management that is km and he has to see that uh, he should try and involve these different levels of the organization structure 
that is divisional head should uh, try to involve all of these things okay all of these persons who is the head of the sales team in the division means it is marketing a executive or asp km or dh it is dh so these things you should remember who leads the sales process and try to acquire the customer if the sales uh, opportunity is less than 5 lakhs as per the uh, per lakh as per the sales manual it is a marketing executive if it is more than 5 lakhs and 8 lakhs means it is a divisional head and if it is more than 8 lakhs it is regional head or pmg so these are some questions and coming into the activity flow of prospecting already we have seen the definition of prospecting you have to identify the leads of the potential clients that those are potential clients called as leads and you have to pool the leads and uh, identify the qualify leads so based on the leads uh, you have to pool them and after pooling the leads you have to identify the qualifying leads and identifying the leads can be a process that can be through different processes one is cold canvassing referrals local field uh, offices the postman and office staff web and viral uh, sorry variable data printers and publishing houses uh, web based research so we will see one by one what is this here uh, there is a question from ipo examination 2022 uh, what is the meaning of cold canvassing as per parcel sales manual collecting basic information through referrals means uh, contacting through the telephone directory and lms and R rwas etc means collecting information through web based research it is a method to book parcel without contacting anyone so the answer is uh, means con contacting through the telephone directory lmas and rs rws here cold canvassing means it is a traditional method to generate information on leads cold canvassing means uh, contacting generally through phone call leads across the across a territory with the primary goal of marketing products and collecting information for updating information on the dashboard so once you collect the information through cold canvassing either by calling phone or here the following sources uh, for uh, obtaining information through cold canvassing is telephone directory publications uh, like lme lme means uh, local market associations rwa means uh, residual welfare association or residential welfare association and other local sources so these are the sources for cold canvassing and uh, the question here it is given that means contacting through the telephone directory and lws and rws lws is local marketing associations so here uh, they have given collecting information through referrals referrals is a differ difference there is a difference between cold canvassing and referrals referrals means the existing customers uh, gives uh, referrals uh, based on their uh, other customers inputs okay so this is wrong answer this is the correct one web based is research is different that also we will see referrals means another method of uh, generating leads is asking for referrals from the current customers the, those customers uh, those are current customers you will ask for referrals by the local contact networks or other leads also the chances of converting the leads based on referrals into qualified leads one automatically the referrals becomes qualified leads because uh, the chances are high for converting the uh, leads uh, from referrals to qualified leads uh, it is high because accurate targeting and trust factor already the customers uh, who are your customers uh, they will have some trust factor with you with the department and uh, they will uh, give the qualified leads automatically and uh, target will be accurate because the customer himself is uh, suggesting this will be the likely customer for you so some proofing has been done by the customer so uh, the chances are more referrals can be asked from the unqualified leads or customers are not willing to use india post services also and referrals can also be materialized from online queries and departmental website queries phonic queries from the staff and call centers queries so whenever there is a uh, query uh, people they will call they will make a call to the call center sometimes uh, they will post a comment in the website they will uh, uh, post a co comment in the online uh, forums uh, also based on that also you can you have some referrals and uh, lo local field offices many times a uh, bulk customer approaches the local post office to gather the information on the products and services and it is essential that the marketing executive should regularly contact the local staff in the area to gather the details of the 
such a bulk customers or queries so postman pris and who have retired recently or transferred will be the good sources for the information so the marketing executive should take up discussion with the leads web based research means uh, uh, they have to uh, do an undertake an online research also and uh, searching the websites and there is a potential uh, chances that uh, sellers nearby there is an option in the website google will also show you the local sales uh, opportunities also you can see them and these are the different uh, google just dial india mart trade india quicker olx udan yellow pages suleka and this can be searched to give to get the potential customers details and uh, as per sales manual what is a good target for lead generation it is um, you should have two leads daily and web based uh, web and variable data printers and publishing house also all printing and publishing houses uh, uh, for example high tech printers like that we have uh, printers uh, they are the potential customers in that area why because all banks and insurance companies normally print their stationeries at a single location so uh, there will be a bulk uh, printer and uh, every bank they will be approaching that bulk printers only in that location so if you contact them then you can have the uh, business opportunities uh, where they can uh, post for the department of post the collected information should be documented in the online dashboard under the heading prospecting on a weekly basis this is important weekly basis uh, you have to document the uh, information on the online dashboard what is a good target for lead generation this is the question given in ip examination 2022 two leads daily that means 50 leads uh, per month that is 25 working days into two leads per day it comes to 50 leads per month so this is the target good target for uh, marketing executive as per the parcel sales man there should not be any interaction with the lead at any stage of prospecting prospecting is the initial stage at this stage uh, what you have to do is uh, these thing information has to be collected from the identified list name of the company what is the type uh, business classification what is the description annual turnover landline number mobile number email id address pin code engagement past clients requirement of parcel services estimated monthly demand these things you have to collect uh, that is called pro stage of prospecting at this time you should not interact with the lead you should not contact them just web based uh, directory silo pages and these things you have to contact so this is important at, at a stage of prospecting you need you should not interact with the lead this is not is important which of the following statements are true with reference to prospecting and pool of leads there should not be any interaction with the lead at the stage at any stage of prospecting and if the monthly business pros projected for lead is about 10000 it will be categorized as qualified lead so both statements are true proof of pool of leads means uh, uh, at a rate of 2 leads per day me will generate a pool of uh, 50 leads every month that means 600 leads in a year these leads are not qualified how the leads will be qualified whenever their amount is uh, about 10000 business opportunity that is called a qualified lead all the qualified leads should be arranged in the descending order in the month and the me should preferably work on two leads at a time so that he is able to successfully close at least two leads per week the two lead those two leads should be two big leads one big and one small two small leads one big and one average the answer is uh, it is one big and one small lead you have to take you have to uh, keep the dis in the descending order the all the qualified leads and you have to take one big lead and one small lead and you have to try it out per week so if the monthly business here uh, there are two points identification of qualified lead who will be treated as qualified lead is uh, there is a set of criteria a qualified lead a lead is qualified lead if the below mentioned criteria is met one is that all mandatory information about the potential customer is captured in the dashboard that is this this is the potential information see here this is that data to be captured in the by the identified leads we have seen and that should be captured first that then only it will be treated as qualified lead and the second one is approximate monthly demand value the monthly demand value of the potential customer is greater than 10000 per month so then only he will be called as qualified uh, lead okay and uh, 
A customer who is currently giving a business of less than 10,000 may also provide big business opportunity after a customer after a satisfied service in future. Therefore, can also become as a qualified lead. So this is basically an upselling client. So this is called an upselling client. Which of the following statements are correct? A lead is qualified lead if the below mentioned criteria is met. All mandatory information about potential customer is captured in the dashboard. And approximate monthly value of demand uh, for potential customer is greater than 10,000. So the both statements are true. And uh, it is suggested that the sales sales team member should be provided with a table, laptop uh, to show the presentations at pen drives, pointers, visiting cards, mobile charge, recharge and some small gift items also should be given for the sales team. So specific product research should be done, obtain the appointment, plan for presentation, plan for queries. This is the activity flow for the preparation, preparation stage. So, and uh, this is the product research. In product research, uh, the collect of MI of the competent uh, competitors products. That means uh, market, market intelligence. That means the competitors products uh, features we have to know, price we have to know, coverage we have to know, the speed we have to know that is offered to the client or the client segment. And sometimes the customer discusses the competitors products, features, prices to explain the value proposition and uh, what is amiss in the DOP proposal. So what we are missing in the DOP proposal, we will be coming to know based on this uh, market intelligence. Okay. Obtaining appointment, the sales lead is a person who will make a presentation on behalf of the department. So this is the person sales lead, who is sales lead means who will make presentation on the behalf of the department and he will be identified in the online dashboard based on the criteria. So in certain cases, the presentation will be made by the marketing executive uh, if it is less than 5 lakhs and if it is uh, more than 5 lakhs here, this is the table approximate monthly demand value, the sales lead selection criteria for presentation. The same uh, for the presentation also. Marketing executive, if it is less than 5 lakhs, he will present uh, level of official to make presentation. Divisional head, if it is uh, 5 to 8 lakhs, divisional head or 60 lakhs per annum and uh, 1 crore per annum, it is divisional head. Anything beyond uh, 8 lakhs per month or 1 crore per annum, it will be the regional head. The sales lead selection criteria for presentation to the customer as per parcel sales manual if the approximate uh, monthly demand value is less than 5 lakhs per month it will be the marketing executive based on this table this table is important some divisions may have leads for businesses above 1 crore per annum for which me and divisional heads uh, may be allowed to make presentation for the customers so in uh, states like maharashtra where uh, west bengal or in tamil nadu and karnataka uh, such a big up such big big states where the business potential is more then even the marketing as you to and divisional heads uh, will also go and make presentations for above 1 crore also depending on the place who is the person who will make presentation on behalf of the department in the parcel sales process and will be identified in the online dashboard based on the criteria as per parcel sales manual it is the presentation means uh, it will be the sales lead okay sales lead will make the presentation this is important question planning for presentation uh, that sales lead shall plan for the presentation also tips for presentation in the tips for the presentation, important thing is that uh, there is a, you should remember there is a 10, 20, 30 principle, 30 pr rule in the slideshow. Whenever you are making a pr presentation in a PPT uh, for a sales uh, procedure, it should not be more than 10 slides. There should not be more than 10 slides in total and it's and lasting not more than 20 minutes. That is 10, 20, 20 minutes. And the font size should not be less than 30 points. So that, that means the size should be big and it should not be less than 30. So that is the 10, 20, 30 principle. 10 slides, 20 minutes, 30 point size. Okay, 30 font size. While preparing presentation of the customer as per parcel sales manual, which of the following aspects are correct for slideshow? Slideshow should not contain more than 10 slides, not more than 20 minutes, font size not 30, all of the above. So the answer is all of the above. Here you can add only, only, here also only. Now the presentation and uh, 
formal introduction and discussions proceeding to the uh, product uh, presentation explain the business proposition and introduce the products engage the client and identify suitable products present the operational operational plan collect and document the market intelligence and review so this is the activity flow of a presentation and uh, so these are all the advantages uh, for the department that we have this also you should have the old, oldest established player in cep market for more than 150 years of experience uh, 1 1.5 lakhs uh, and 19000 pin post offices and 19000 pin codes and uh, so these are all the rtn we have these things uh, we have to tell cod facility is there international destinations 106 and uh, 10 am to 15 pm on working days scheduled delivery address pickup is there api integration is there what is api if you know try to post in the comment section so these are all there review means a uh, division and uh, or, uh, regional head shall review the status of presentations made by the division or marketing executive during the monthly meetings uh, preferably during the fourth week of the month so regional and division heads shall review the status of presentations made by the uh, division and me during the monthly meetings preferably in the fourth week of the month so this you have to remember managing queries that you know involves gathering of intelligence on the competitors products and markets and trends also this is also included in the uh, managing queries that you should understand and activity flow of managing queries there are two things handling the queries collect and document the marketing intelligence which of the following is correct as per parcel sales manual activity flow for managing queries includes handling queries collect and document marketing intelligence both are correct these two things you have to remember and query resolution matrix for qualified leads so resolution of query by mea or upward escalation to the divisional head it should be done within q plus two days q is the day on which the query was made q refers to query made by the potential customer communication of resolution within q plus three so for divisional head it is q plus four and five regional head it is q plus six and seven these things are also important closing as far as closing is concerned draft contract we have seen already and signing the contract and creating ucid in the csi system and introducing the spoc and km to the customer so once the marketing executive has closed the contract uh, closed the uh, sales uh, then he will be handovering the customer to the spoc and km for further uh, process okay after sales service activity flow is onboarding client introducing operational team introducing key account management team and review if the deal is closed successfully the client or customer is clinched then the marketing executive hand over the contract copy to the client and politely ask him to sign and return it back within it should be asked within five to seven days so the answer is a whenever the deal is closed you have to uh, the marketing executive has to ask to sign the contract within five to seven days and if it is not closed in the first meeting second meeting you have to uh, reach him again and uh, if the deal is closed in the second meeting then he has to give the contract again ask him for the five to seven days you have to return it and he may uh, plan the subsequent meeting also so as to see whether there is an opportunity for upsell a marketing executive should ensure ucid is created in the system within three days from the signing the contract uh, by the divisional office or regional office and the contract number created in the system for servicing the customer should be updated by the, on the dashboard by the me so dashboard should be updated by the me with the contract number me shall update in the dashboard when whether the client has been successfully clinched or not and other relevant details so when even though the successfully it is not done also you have to update in the dashboard ME should uh, ensure you that the UCID is created in the system within how many days uh, from signing of the contract by the divisional office or the regional office. It is three days. And the follow up, uh, if in follow up you have the KAM and SPOC, and uh, here the many customers require documentation support for international articles. The, so the operational spoc needs to be responsible for providing every possible support in getting the articles dispatched in quickest possible manner through customs so this work has to be done by the operational spoc and operational spoc should ensure smooth day-to-day -day operations also who will uh, ensure the smooth day-to-day -day operations means spoc 
and uh, any day to day act deviation shall be handled by the spoc in the coordination with the clients like changing in the pickup location multiple pickups uh, variation in the distance covered by the dop vehicles all these things should be taken care of by the operations spoc who is responsible for providing every possible support in getting the articles uh, dispatched in quickest possible manner through customs as per parcel sales manual it is operational spoc so these are the things that you have to capture in the da dashboard any customer id contract number exception report uh, date of sharing the report uh, to the respective client monthly volume of the customer bill raised mode of sharing km copied in the communication or not as per parcel sales manual who is responsible for ensuring smooth day to day operations and any day to day deviations to be handled in coordination with the clients like a change in pickup location uh, multiple pickups a variation in distance by the dop vehicles you have seen here it is the spoc operational spoc so these uh, what are the responsibilities of spoc km me should be known particularly and uh, introduction role of km now km shall contract the customer on the monthly basis this monthly basis is important to seek the feedback on the services provided by the department and also seek inputs on the any other opportunities uh, which department can explore with them or for any referrals so km shall contact the new customers on weekly basis up to one month so, so the first one month weekly basis you have to contact as a km and uh, fortunately another uh, one month then monthly so first uh, in the first month weekly and thereafter uh, in the second month fortunately you will uh, contact the uh, new customer thereafter every month you will contact the customer for what for what you have to contact it is for any referrals for any new opportunities for a feedback uh, or any other inputs km will be responsible for ensuring bill preparation its collection from the customer on monthly basis within the prescribed time limit and if need be call the customer for the same so the bill preparation who will make it will be the p account manager in the bill and and the account they are the same we can resemble bill resembles to the account so km will be bill preparation they will raise the bill because it is bnpl like that and uh, review of follow up regional division head shall review the follow up on sales uh, on monthly basis and identify the shortcomings if any and decide on future strategy the follow up review shall be done by the divisional head for uh, each me on monthly basis one once separately and once collectively so individually also you have to meet and uh, collectively also you have to meet who shall uh, who shall contact the customer on the monthly basis to seek their feedback on the services provided by the department and also seek inputs uh, on any other opportunities which the department can explore with them or for any referrals it is km and who shall contact the new customers on weekly basis up to one month and fortnightly for another month and uh, then monthly it is km who shall be responsible for ensuring the bill preparation and uh, its collection for uh, customer on monthly basis within the prescribed time limit and if need be call the customer it is km bill means automatically km will come regional division heads uh, shall review the follow up on sales process and identify shortcomings if any and decide on the future strategy on it is on monthly basis okay then comes the sales monitoring key account management is the process of building long term relationship with the high value customers who contribute substantially to the business of the department so uh, the process of building long term uh, relationship with the high value customers who contribute substantially to the business of the department is called key account management and activity flow is that customer hand over the hand over to the key account management by the me and we will hand over the customer to the key km he will introduction to the customer follow up will be made locate the opportunities and review will be made so when the divisional office is the nodal office for the customer the divisional has to allocate the accounts to the me and uh, operations spoc and km in the division suppose if uh, there is an uh, if the when the division is the not the nodal office for bnpl customer if uh, it is a national account facility there will be a nodal office and uh, if it is not within our division what you have to do another division is the nodal office the booking is done at multiple locations in such cases divisional office will allocate the account to the spoc and km in the division the divisional office shall record the details of spoc and km nominated by them on the dashboard 
and allocation of ME is not required in this case because the ME at the nodal office has clinched the customer. So, allocation of ME is not required if in case of national account facility in that nodal office is not your office. And role of KM, it is a regular feedback he has to take, uh, new products and services launched, he has to inform to the customer, new referral opportunities he has to explore uh, or inquire and increase the booking volume, customer expansion uh, like NAF uh, facility, query resolution, complaint resolution and information to the customers. KM introduction to the meeting with the customer. KM shall plan for a first meeting with each of the customers uh, assigned to him uh, through personal visits and uh, he has to introduce himself. He has to discuss all these aspects, uh, turnover, employees, all these things and uh, what is the volume, major items, uh, major origins, uh, value added services, all these things it should be there. And uh, KM uh, monthly flow follow up meetings has to be conducted. At least 50% of the customers uh, uh, with KM should be visited personally in, a, in, the, in any month. So in any month, 50% of the customers uh, with KM should be visited. Also the customers with KM should be visited personally at least once in two months period. So this is a new customers. This is uh, already customers, world customers. Once in two months, they have to visit. The duration of personal visit should be ideally not more than 30 minutes and some cases it may exceed depending on the customer and the telephonic meeting if it is conducted it should be ideally not more than 15 minutes sometimes it may extend at least what percentage of customers with km should be visited by the by him personally in any month it is 50 percent the duration of person personal visit by km with customer should be ideally not more than it is personal visit means 30 minutes, telephonic meeting means 15 minutes. Okay. So these are the things. KM is responsible for ensuring printing, sharing, collection of system generated bills, customers uh, uh, as per monthly transactions from the allotted business post center, business uh, booking office, parcel hub, assigned for operations uh, in a particular customer. Who is responsible for these things means it is KM. So these are the things. Now cross sell and upsell presentation should be on the new products. The ME to enter the details in the dashboard within a period of three days from the day of information is received from the ME from the KM about the opportunity. So ME has to enter the details within three days of information received by the ME from the KM uh, about the upselling and uh, cross selling. And uh, the KM shall correspondence, correspond with the nominated ME to check if the lead has been entered in the uh, dashboard and the corresponding lead ID, there will be a lead ID has been created in the dashboard. Further, ME shall share the lead ID created by the ME in the dashboard with the KM. Uh, to, uh, the KM should be informed of the lead ID created in the dashboard uh, and lead ID should be created by the ME. What is the time period within which ME has to enter the details in the dashboard uh, from the day the information is received by the ME from the KM about the opportunity of cross selling and upselling. You write about the cross selling and upselling. It is three days. Who will share the lead ID created by ME in the dashboard uh, with the KM? It is the ME himself will share to the KM. Regarding the referrals, ME to enter the leads details in the dashboard within a period of three days. Again, this is also three days from the date of information received from the by the ME from KM. From KM, you will receive the upselling opportunities, uh, cross-selling opportunities and referrals. All these three things uh, should be entered in the dashboard within three days uh, by the ME as soon as he receives it uh, from the KM. Who will, uh, who, will to en who will have to enter the lead uh, who will have to enter the lead details in the dashboard within period of three days from the day information is received by the ME in, from the KM, it is ME himself. Review, divisional head and regional head, they have to review. Review the status of follow-up meetings uh, between the customers and KMs on monthly basis uh, along with cross-sell and upsell and referral opportunities identified by the KM. So it is on, on what basis? It is on monthly basis, that is the question given here. Here, uh, query resolution matrix for the customers. Resolution of query by the ME upward is uh, I plus 2. I here, uh, it is the issue raised by the uh, customer. It is I means issue plus 2 and uh, plus 3. This is for uh, divisional head or region. It is uh, plus I plus 4, I plus 5, I plus 6, I plus 7. These things you have to remember. 
monitoring of sales target and activities the monitoring of sales process uh, starts at divisional level and divisional head shall review the performance of me operations spoc km every month and regional head also has to do it on monthly basis similarly circles so these are the points sales dashboard responsibilities of operative staffs to facilitate monitoring of uh, sales process uh, an online dashboard has been prepared to record uh, analyze the activities uh, undertaken at each stage of sales process this is the dashboard apps.cept.gov.in activity of dashboard will be marketing executive he will enter customer onboard uh, operations spos spoc km and key account management ME shall document the collected information on the dashboard under prospecting heading on. It is, uh, it is on the weekly basis. And each ME shall have to update the parcel sales online dashboard with the individual login to the dashboard. So ME has an individual login. So these are all the uh, processes uh, that uh, ME has to undertake. So these are important also. These you have to uh, remember these are important only. And the dashboard entries by operation SPOC. SPOC shall ensure smooth day-to-day -day operations. Any day-to-day -day deviations already we have seen this one. And SPOC shall generate the customer-specific monthly exception report from CSI. Who will generate the monthly exception report means it is the SPOC. Who shall document information relating to the monthly meetings uh, with the customer's online, online board under sales manual it is KAM. Dashboard activities by KM means he will document the information uh, relating to monthly meetings. Monthly meeting means KM. Generation of bills and timely payment also KM. So this is the MIS is also there that can be accessed at every level divisional DO, RO, CO, parcel directorate and uh, analyze the activities. The three sets of reports are generated through online dashboard namely sales report, lead analysis report after sales report so there are three reports how many reports means three reports which among the following is not the three sets of reports that will be generated through the online dashboard sales report lead analysis report after sales report so answer is none of these because it is given not so this responsibility of framework is also given until unless there is responsibility nothing happens so they have given the responsibility of giving targets review these things you may go through and a review lead generation generated by ME on fortnightly basis it is given by for the divisional head and review lead generated by the division on monthly basis for the regional head this is given here so these are all the uh, activities and ensuring that the ME does the data entry of uh, old or uh, earlier client to him given to him by the division office in the dashboard that is the work of the KM has to ensure this one and monthly meetings he has to do feedback support the client query read result time timelines address cross selling and upselling and renew the existing customer support to client to share the renewed agreement to the client to the divisional office these things km has to do spoc he will be introducing to the client understanding coordination day-to-day -day activities he will do so these are the things you have to understand and review the quantitative uh, data captured in sales process on monthly basis by the circle head and flag the technology challenges in the operations uh, to CEPT with a copy to parcel direct. So these are all the uh, things and some annexers were given here. You may see it. And uh, so these are the, this is all about the parcel sales manual. Some 60 questions I have given uh, based on this one. Thank you. Hope it is helpful. Subscribe to Career Post.